Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite girl, Zeke Today, you are a Zora. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys on how I edit my YouTube videos using my mobile phone. Yes, you heard me, just my mobile phone. So if that sounds like something that you are interested in, let's jump right into it. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I edit my YouTube videos, how to add text, how to color correct, how to split, how to cut, how to add music, how to also add transitions to your YouTube videos and lots more. And the app that I'm going to be using for this tutorial is called the CapCut app. And this app is available for both Android users and ios users okay so if you don't have this app on your phone do well to download it by either going to your play store or your apple store to download this CapCut app into your phone i already made a clip of what i'm going to be editing and i think it's about one minute long and i tried my best to incorporate everything that i do when editing into this one minute video so that's what we are going to be working with we're going to try to edit the video and make it look like a youtube video so i'm not going to be sitting down here like i usually do because you guys might not see everything clearly okay so i already made the short clip just to show you guys what we are going to be working with and let's begin the process so here's the app which we are going to be working with and this is the CapCut app and we are going straight ahead to add in our clips to begin the editing process okay so first things first is to click on the new project sign right there and since i'm working with just one clip i'm going to go ahead to select that clip okay but you can select as many as you want let's just go ahead now to select the clip clip that we need okay and so that automatically just downloads the video onto the app and we can start editing so first thing i like to do when editing is to color correct the video now color correcting makes the video looks a lot more better okay so let's just split this part where i'm just prepping before i say hey guys so right here is where we are going to split okay so tap on the video and select the split option then click on the first video we want to adjust and click on adjust for me i literally don't do much of color correcting depending on the video so for this particular video we will leave brightness at a minus four contrast i'll leave that at a minus nine for saturation i'll leave it at a six then sharpness at a 20 for hsl brightness at a minus one and then move to highlight and leave that at a minus 10 and for shadow we'll leave that at a minus five and then finally temperature at a minus 23 so that's it for this color correcting for this video next i'll also like to add in filter so click on filter and you can just select as many as you want okay but for me i like like to use the clear filter so i'll just tap on that and i'm going to reduce the brightness and leave it at a 20. so from here we can see that this clip has a pop of color while this other clip looks quite plain so this is the clip that we just adjusted and this is the other clip that we haven't done anything just yet to it okay so we're going to go ahead to you know delete this part that we don't need but before that we're just going to adjust the settings that we've made we're going to drag it over to the other clip okay so we don't lose what we have already you know edited and then we're going to go ahead to delete the first clip because we do not need that part so next we're just going to adjust that by moving it to the beginning of the video so it starts at the beginning of the video and then pull that up to the end of the video as well so it's spread across the video and we're going to do that to the filter as well move that to the end of the video okay next thing i'll be doing is to adjust my audio quality because guys noise is one big factor you do not want in your video so let me play that so you can listen to what the audio sounds like hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your favorite girl z to the u r a 
So to fix the background voice, you want to select the video and then click on isolate voice. Then next you click on keep voice and allow that to load to a hundred and then you should have something better like this. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite girl, Zik to the URA. So that's how to enhance your voice or enhance your video so you have a better audio quality okay so next i'll be adding my youtube intro video to do this i have to know where it comes in so let's play the video so we see hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your favorite girl zik to the u r a zora so this is a demo video on how i edit my youtube videos on my mobile phone if that sounds like something you are interested in you want to keep on watching and let's jump right into it that's where I'm going to split and add my YouTube intro. So to do this, I'm just going to click on the plus sign right there. And then that's going to take me to my videos. And then I'll just click on my YouTube video and add that to the project. And this is what it's going to look like. Let's jump right into it. Okay. <laughs> so that's how you can add your youtube intro video okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to trim the rest of this video so i'm going to do this quickly so i don't bore you guys okay so i'm going to fast forward this video and just trim out and take out the parts where i'll be looking down on my scripts parts where i'll be making some facial expressions and also where i made some errors trying to say something so stuff like this shouldn't be in your videos okay so i'm just going to show you guys what i mean from natural hair tutorials skincare lifestyle so i'm just going to do a jump cut right here so we're going to split that part and then we'll delete it and then we are going to align both clips so it flows properly and once that is done you should have something like this from natural hair tutorials skincare lifestyle and yeah so now you can see how smooth that transition is from both clips okay that was very smooth and that is a jump cut where you kind of cut in between your sentences because probably you took so much time to remember what you were going to say okay guys so now we have our clips ready and in all we have six different clips together i'm going to show you how to add text to your video and to do this we're going to go to the part where we said this is a demo video and then we're going to click on text and then you get to see different options you click on add text and then you type in demo okay and then you get to pick whatever font that you want to pick like you're not limited to fonts they are all very very free that's why i like CapCut. everything is free you can play around with your text okay you can go to styles you can go to spacing you can go to animation okay so you can increase your skill you can increase the character you can increase the line you can put your text on bold okay so you can also change the styles you can give it whatever color that you want it to be you can go to background and add your background color if you want to increase the opacity you want to increase you know the corner radius the height the width the y offset x offset whatever it is that you want to do it just do anything you want to do, play around with it okay according to your preference so on animation you can pick if you want the text to enter with you know zooming effects you play around with it guys according to your preference okay so that's how you can add text and spice things up just a little bit okay so so this is a demo video on how i edit my youtube videos on my mom so now to add transitions between clips just click on this line right here in between clips and pick whatever kind of transition that you want guys these transitions are all free okay just make sure that your phone is connected to internet okay before using this app i like to go to camera and pick the pull out option okay so 
so i like to use the pull out options for my transition and you can decide to use it for all your transitions clips in your video or select as many as you want so now to add picture i'm going to play the video so i show you where i add picture for example this video right here so this part where i'm pointing to the screen i'm going to add my picture here so i'm going to click on overlay and then locate where the picture is on my gallery okay so once i see that i'm going to select it and move it to my project screen okay so you can also play around with the animation and pick how you want it to come in or leave the screen so i'm going to just leave it very very simple i'm only going to work on the in and out okay so i'm going to use the zooming effects okay and yeah that's it about that okay so this is the only transition that we are going to be using for that so to spice things up with this picture we are going to go ahead to add sound effect okay so to do that we're just going to go to audio and then we click on sound fx and guys you're going to see so many trending options for you to pick okay so we're going to go with this pop right here and that's going to just give it a little bit of pop when the picture pops on the screen and we're going to go ahead now to either increase or reduce the volume so to add the subscription icon the like icon comment icon we just need to go to stickers okay and then you're going to see lots of options for you to pick from and to add the like option we're going to go with this one right here and it's going to pop on on the screen and you can scale it down and move it around wherever you want it you can also increase it if you want okay so you can also add audio to it by duplicating the other one that is already perfected and then just move it to match both so that they can you know sync and this is what it's going to look like feel free to give this video a big thumbs up so so to so tell you guys to subscribe to my channel we're going to add the subscription button and to do this we're going to go to overlay okay so when you click on overlay you're going to go to library and on library you go to green screen so we're just going to go ahead now to look for the subscribe green screen okay so pick whatever one that you like i'm going to go with this one right here and then you can go ahead now to remove the green screen on it okay and to do this we're going to use the picker tool by using our chrome key okay so on chrome key you just want to click on it and then move the picker okay to the part that has green and then you click on you know remove okay so it's going to remove the green screen just like so and then you can scale it down and move it wherever that you want it to be and i think i like it on this part of the screen right here okay so next is to add audio okay so we go to audio and pick a notification sound okay once the sound is picked you can increase or decrease the volume and then make sure that you match both the sound and the subscribe button together so next i'm going to show you how to add background music to your video so you have to click on audio and on audio you click on sounds and here you're going to see different options for you to pick from you can either select any of these songs or you can download your songs into your device okay and then move it to your CapCut app so whatever song that you want just click on the sound and then it's going to import into your project so i think i'm going to go with this song right here and then that's going to go over to the project that we're going to work with and then i'm going to go ahead to reduce the volume of the sound so click on the background music and cut where the video ends and split and then delete this one where i have my intro video okay so that the background music doesn't interfere with the music from my youtube intro so to the end of the video we're going to split that and then delete that part because we don't need it because it's quite lengthy okay 
and then this is what we're going to have so to add our end screen you have to have the end screen picture on your mobile phone so just click on the add sign and then that's my end screen so next you need to check for the seconds you have for your video that will go for your end screen it is usually 20 seconds and can be reduced on your youtube settings when you're uploading your videos so here i have about 15 seconds long for my video so i'm going to extend the end screen to 15 seconds okay and then the next thing i'm going to do is to long press on the video and then drag it underneath the end screen okay making it a layer beneath the end screen right here and make sure that it begins at the same point and also ends at the same point the next thing we're going to do is to fit into the end screen so select the video and scale it down by zooming in and zooming out so yeah that's all i basically do okay when it comes to editing my videos okay so now that we are done editing i'm going to show you guys the finished results hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your favorite girl z to the u r a zora so this is a demo video on how i edit my youtube videos on my mobile phone if that sounds like something you are interested in you want to keep on watching and let's jump right into it okay <laughs> So by the time you're already watching this video, I already uploaded a couple of videos on my YouTube channel. For example, this video right here on how to use carrots and rice marks on your hair for three times hair growth. So feel free to check that out. And if you're enjoying this video up to this point, please feel free to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel and drop a comment down below okay if you're new to my youtube channel you are welcome to my channel on this channel i do everything from natural hair tutorials skincare lifestyle and many more so you want to do well to stay glued on my channel okay guys so feel free to check out any of these videos right here on my end screens and do hit that subscribe button so you can get subscribed to my youtube channel thank you so much guys for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye